I'm here in the studio this morning with Minister Ivo Ivanovsky. He's the Minister of Information Society and Administration of the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. Ivo, welcome. You've been nominated today to serve as chair of the Fifth World Telecommunication Policy Forum, which focuses on internet-related public policy issues. Can you tell us how the chair is selected and what your role will be during the next three days of debate? Good afternoon, Sarah. Mm. Uh, yes, uh, it's been a great honor to be nominated as a chairman of the Fifth World Telecom Policy Forum. It is a process where all the member states, uh, by consensus, they select the chair, which chair will have to go through the next uh, three days and uh, work uh, with the working groups, with the member states, uh, with the sector members, in order to accomplish the opinions which are presented to the people at the conference for the next three days with the uh, working groups, the three working groups, uh, we will try to accomplish where all the opinions uh, are with a consensus achieved at the end of the conference so we can have a successful conference. Those, uh, those opinions, and I think there are six, that is the output of this forum, isn't it? Correct. The output of the forum are the opinions, opinions uh, which have been uh, pre-selected by an uh, expert group mm -hmm. who has been working on this uh, for a long time with consultations uh, with a lot of sector members, with the non-governmental organizations, with all the participants in the today's society, the information society that we live in, in order to achieve uh, with um, opinions which can be brought together on the World Telecom Policy Forum. It's a very interesting issue, internet-related public policy issues, generates normally a lot of debate. What do you predict will be the really hot uh, topics around the forum? And do you think we'll see a, uh, a repeat of the, the polarised debates that we saw uh, last year in uh, the Wicket Conference in December in Dubai? I do expect that uh, some of that uh, conversation will continue from Dubai to the Policy Forum in Geneva. The role of the governments who have in the governance of the internet will continue to be a debate among the same countries uh, that uh, carry the same conversation in Dubai. I expect that uh, at the end uh, we will find a mutual language where all the participants will be satisfied within the results in order to bring those opinions with a consensus and uh, carry on with the uh, future development of the internet. It's, um, it's a very open meeting, the WTPF, quite different from the, the big treaty-making conferences that ITU sometimes runs. And we have official contributions from a lot of different stakeholders and, and, and membership. There was, a, as you mentioned, a preparatory informal experts group that was open to, to any interested party. Why is it important to have such a broad-based discussion? Doesn't that risk uh, getting everything a little unfocused? Well, it does uh, risk, uh, but uh, on the other hand, uh, this kind of policies, open policies forums are uh, very productive because you get to hear everybody's voice. And that is uh, the idea in order to continue the growth of the information telecommunication sectors, in order to continue the growth of the internet, you have to hear all the parties and that's the only fair way to do it. This um, openness presents a brand new idea sometimes and also goes back and uh, revises the old systems, the old idea how they were set up in order to continue with the development of the economies and to continue with uh, broadband penetration. The Broadband Commission for Digital Development has uh, set uh, new goals for countries to achieve the by 2020 in order to grow the economies in the countries, to have a better healthcare, to have better education, to have a better, better telecom sectors. Ivo, you're one of the founding members of that Broadband Commission for Digital Development and I think you're one of the most active members as well. Uh, Macedonia itself has been extremely proactive in uh, rolling out uh, information technology, Wi-Fi, public access systems. Could you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing and why does your country believe this is so important? Yeah, it has been a great honour for me personally and for my country, the Republic of Macedonia, to be in the beginning of setting up of the setup of the Broadband Commission for Digital Development. We are continuing to invest uh, in the information communication uh, sector because we have seen the value of that sector who, who will help uh, the rest of the sectors um, with the growth 
much faster than uh, any other investment that uh, we can do. We are expecting right now in the next um, few days to have the switch of the analog to digital TV in order to release the digital dividend. The due date for us is uh, June 1st, 2013. We are very much prepared for that and uh, at the moment uh, we also carry on with the request for purchase for 4G. Mm -hmm. We have three mobile operators, they all operate with 3G. Now we expect that um, hopefully all of them or some of them will carry on and uh, invest in a 4G infrastructure in order for the citizens of the Republic of Macedonia to have a brand new infrastructure much faster than the 3G so they can continue with development of their own personal life and their own uh, family economy in a way. It is indeed actually one of the most uh, connected countries I've ever visited with Wi-Fi available free, publicly available almost everywhere throughout the country. What will you do with this new digital dividend? What will that be used for? The digital dividend uh, besides the 4G will be very much used to Im continue the improvement that we've done in education and the healthcare. We have uh, invested uh, over 5% of the, our GDP in education and similarly the healthcare in the past uh, few years. And uh, we have seen incredible results, especially in the education where by installing the computers and the laptops for every student, where our ratio right now is 1.4 to 1. There have been uh, students who have been uh, using the laptops from first to third grade for already five years now. And we can see a drastic improvement in uh, their skills, drastic improvements in their competences, and the drastic improvements uh, for their willingness to learn. By giving them this kind of tool, the modern tool of the 21st century, we hope that uh, our students, our citizens, who when they grow up will be very much competitive with the rest of the world. Ivo Ivanovsky, very uh, best wishes for the next three days of, of discussion. Uh, we'll come back to you at the end of the forum, and uh, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much.